A truly troubling discovery at a Suffolk County park. A local photographer found more than 100 dead and mangled baby snapping turtles. Now it's hatching season, and as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, animal advocates believe cutting the grass at the wrong time is to blame. The sprawling grounds of the Meadowcroft estate in Sayville are freshly mowed, and that may have been terrible timing. Last week, more than 100 baby snapping turtles were found dead here. Was horrified. I saw the mower, fresh mower track, and I saw the devastation and destruction. The turtles, hard bodies, they were flat. They were Karen Hill Maloney comes every year to photograph a wonder of nature, the hatching of New York's official reptile, snapping turtles like this one. But this time, she found what she calls a young turtle massacre at the Suffolk County Park. All over the lawn, upside down, crushed. Um, it was it was sad. It, it, it made me cry. This is not a raccoon that did this at all. This wildlife rehabilitator has little doubt mowing is to blame. How do you mow them over? We found carcasses everywhere. The discovery has prompted an investigation by the DEC and the Suffolk Parks Department, which says Suffolk cares deeply about all wildlife living in county property, and we do our best to protect all species at all times. We will be working with experts to determine any adjustments that could be made to prevent something like this from happening in the future. Humane Long Island says the county should have known better than to mow during the hatching season since turtles lay eggs in the same place every year. We are urging the county to do the right thing and ensure this never happens again by prohibiting access to this area during nesting season. Maloney was able to save 10 of the hatchlings by bringing them to this nearby creek. None of the others survived. Turtle experts say it's a sad cautionary tale. Turtles are in all of Long Island's freshwater ways. They are considered a keystone species. If they're removed from our environment, the whole environment, can, uh, the ecosystem can collapse. They're part of our balanced ecosystem, and they are also part of our cleanup crew. Humane Long Island's asking Suffolk County to prohibit mowing here from April till October, so hatchlings are never destroyed again. In Save Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Now, to avoid accidental destruction of a turtle nest, the DEC recommends surveying an area prior to mowing. The hatching season is typically in August and September.